We're going to show you how to lay a new path using these lovely easy paved cobbled tiles. Now it's quite a heavy job, so what we've done, I've enlisted the help of David here, who's going to be getting the old path up because this is what we're going to be replacing. But firstly, I just want to show you some of the stuff we're going to be using. We've got what we call sharp sand. This is what we'll mix the cement with. We've got a bag of cement and we've got this fantastic hardcore. This is what we call 10 mil to dust. This is really good, especially for DIY purposes because it compacts really easily and it knits together and gives you a real solid base. Then we've got other stuff like a lump hammer, essential. We've got trowels, we've got a bolster chisel, we've got a stiff brush and a softer brush, we've got a Stanley knife and we've got a crowbar. So let's go and have a look now how David's getting the path up. So what's good about this is we've, all, we've taken the existing path up and we've got already got a solid base to work from. Now if you were doing this from scratch, you'd have to dig down, you'd have to put a solid foundation in, which would be approximately 50 mil deep. Then you'd have to take into allowance the thickness of the new paving and then the, the a thickness of the mortar bed, which could be up to two inches. So straight away you've got 125 mil depth you've got to dig down. So it's a little bit more work that way, but let's look at how, how David's doing with this. What he's done, he's put on some of the 10 mil to dust hardcore and he's just giving us a nice thin blinding of that so we've got something solid to lay the, lay the paving on. But before we do that, he is going to compact this down and give it a real solid base. So now let's have a look at this easy paved cobble tiles. I really love this because it's on, on a mesh and it's a bit like, you know when you do mosaic tiling in a bathroom, it's that sort of effect. So rather than laying them one by one, you can lay a whole load at a time. And what's also great is, we're going to be laying on this path here, the width of that isn't quite enough. We can actually cut down here to make up the difference, which is brilliant. So what's also nice about these is they come stepped like this, so the next bit, like a bit like a jigsaw puzzle, locks in and it makes it nice and seamless, fantastic finish. So we're nearly ready to start laying the paving, but first we've got to look at the mortar mix we're going to be laying it onto. So what we're going to do, we're going to be doing a five in one mix, five parts sharp sand to one part cement. So that's five shovelfuls, one shovelful. Really easy, but if you're going to be doing loads, you know, it might be worth hiring a cement mixer for the day. Now another top tip from me is with your mix is this mortar plasticizer. What this does, it makes the mix so much easier to work with, it makes it more pliable. And all it needs is approximately a cup full in your bucket of water. So let's just have a bit of a recap. We've taken the old paving up, we've put the hardcore in, we've compacted it down, we've done the mix of cement at five to one, and David is actually now putting the cement here, and we're gonna do a section by section. We're gonna lay approximately a 25 mil bed of cement here. So that's the mortar down, it's time to start putting the paving down. We've got a couple, two of us here, make it quite a bit easier. But a good tip with this is, we've made the mortar bed quite high, we're going to put both pieces in, like so. Now to make sure these go down nice and flat and symmetrical, we've got a lump hammer and a plank of wood. And David's going to use the plank of wood across them to make sure they all go down nice and flat and not individuals sunk in. Looking good, mate. So we're well on the way here now. We've got the first tiles in place, and we're going to, once we get them all into place, we're going to leave it for 24 hours before we can fill in all the joints. So there you go, we've got all our easy paved cobbles down. It's just a matter now of pointing up 
all these joints or filling the joints. And how we're going to do that is we've got a five and one mix of sand and cement. Easy to do. We just put on the mix and we brush it in like so. We push this into all the joints so it's really nice and compact. And all I do then is put a bit more on and keep doing it until literally you can't press it down anymore. A good idea is to get a watering can with a sprinkler thing on the end and go over the path, that'll really set it off. And do you know what? That's gonna look really, really good. <laughs> 